Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do every and DIY and today we're going to be doing an inspection for a hot water boiler and we're going to be checking the burner section. Thank you to everyone tuning to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're working on a Lars hot water boiler. We're going to be performing an inspection for the burner section. I'm going to start by shutting this down. Taking off the cover. Got another screw right there. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a two stage boiler, hot water boiler. As you can see, we got two gas valves. So that's how you know. Inside here is the burner section. I did inspect a previous one that was having ignition issues and it was literally exploded inside. So it has to have these little Prefer preparations inside like little little dots so it can let the gas through but if there's like openings or cracks it gotta go it's not good so let's start by opening this up mm -hmm. all right this is the gas supply Just have that closed this boiler was running so i want this to cool down i feel the heat right now so we got two burners here this is our header pipe where the gas is coming through and then it goes into the burner i did i did change this hot surface igniter recently to get this machine running and it, while i had that open it looked like there was some slight damage to this burner so i opt for an inspection i'm going to show you a picture or a clip of a video of one of the burners that i found and these are all the same age so if that one was in that condition we gotta check the condition of this one and honestly all of them so let's just do what we can let's do one at a time this has a union right here. Could I get my wrench in there? Not exactly sure. I'm gonna take off these air switches and kind of just push it to the side. So I have space and leverage from my pipe wrenches to fit. So like this. We have room here now. Got it. And they get a little whiff of gas right now, whatever is whatever is left in the line. All right. From here, that line is loose. So what we gotta do is take off four screws here and that should take off this header. And then we got a couple of screws and we'll get to the burner. So there's that. All right, let's get this out the way. And now let's take off these couple screws and there's the burner right there. Oh, yep, this thing is cracked. Look at that huge crack. See that? Huge crack right there. You see there's a crack right here. This is super rusted. Eventually, this is gonna crack. So with this kind of crack and this kind of crack, eventually it's gonna be a serious problem. It's definitely time to change this. All right, guys, so I was able to pick up a new burner from the supply house nearby. Look at that OEM part. Look at the difference. The color is huge. That crack right there, it's pretty concerning as well as that one this is a whole lot better we got two burners got the first one out also i got new gaskets definitely want to replace those gaskets let's go ahead and remove the next header and the next burner all right got that one loose great
Ooh. Look at this. Look at that crack right here. This thing is loose too. There's another hole here. This thing is on its way out. Alright guys, here's a new burner. I also picked up new gaskets. Also make sure that this area is smooth so you have a nice safe connection. Let's get this on. Of course, we're getting a thousand calls this morning. Buy another service call. Is that a new gasket? The side with the holes is up. And it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna slide that in. And put the screws back. Tight space in here. This little drain line really makes it annoying. And this boiler to the right of me is in my way and it's extremely hot. All right, gaskets on. Perfect fit. This is one of the burnt one of the headers make sure nothing is in our way before we make that connection just gonna get this started with the union get that started okay there's a rubber gasket here you want that set correctly you don't want it to be open just like that really want that closed up and in there properly so that looks like screws are in and that's what that looks like we got to tighten that connection and we got to do the same for this side all right so I'm just gonna tighten those down where we got both burners in all right guys everything's put back together everything's looking good let's go ahead and get this panel back on let's start this thing up started this thing up We've got a gas leak detector here only gas is going to pass through there is when the gas valve opens You guys can see that little red light that's the flame it's a very foggy window but we definitely started temperature is coming up 106 that's the outlet right there okay and yeah, we got no leaks all right guys it's time to close up this cover everything started we're at 111 right now for the outlet temperature and we are heating up 115 degree supply water we're going to wrap this one up here burner maintenance is extremely extremely important we definitely don't want to have any explosions here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time